Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Vision Pro and today we are taking a look at split screen again, but that's just because I have a cool update potentially of what's coming very soon thanks to the co-developer of split screen, Jordi Bruin Fallman X, if you're not already. Two hours ago he tweeted out this video showcasing um, that he was able to get four screens running off of his Mac. Obviously, this is something that we were hoping to have on day one. Shortly after the release, they did launch split screen, which gave us one extra monitor, and that's where we currently have. But it seems very quickly they're able to adapt these extra screens. Now, I've done multiple updates on split screen as they've done different updates, and the last time I made a dedicated video on it, uh, things weren't working too well. And then it just freaks out when I go over there. I'm getting really bummed here, to be honest. Not playing around anymore. Let's go to the lowest thing, 500 kilobits. It hates having windows open. So before we even think about getting four screens, let's see where things are at in the current update. Now my headset, my Vision Pro is up to the 1.2 beta. I'm running the latest beta release of Mac OS. We're gonna go to my Mac to give us our virtual screen. Now before we open split screen on here, I'm going to just make sure it's up to date. I believe I ran updates yesterday, but all right, so it is all up to date. Let's go ahead and launch split screen. We're gonna connect to it in the Mac application. Mac app outdated. All right, let me install and relaunch this. So now we're up to date. This input thing I still get anytime I connect my Mac. It doesn't even seem to be split screen related, but ooh, okay, this is different. This is different. So now we actually have an arrange displays menu. I'm gonna put it on the left. I like how it outlines the windows. That's really nice. All right, so just from our basics here, we have a nice connection. Let's see what our settings are at display. I believe I should be on the highest of everything. Yep, this analytics is pretty cool. This shows you basically in real time what we are getting. Our mouse seems pretty good, but we've seen that before. Let's open up uh, Safari and just see how basic window works. Fine on the main Mac display. Transfers over. Can we play Hello. someone? Hi. Camera interview style of Tiger. There you go, there's three references. There's a little bit of like, it doesn't feel perfectly smooth if I play. But you don't also have to just look at. So see how like with the audio, it's perfectly doing playback. Like it feels on the secondary display. Or any ideas that you have for it. If you don't have a cork board, get. It feels like, like 90% of the frames are there, but it's just kind of a little bit choppy. It'd be fine for like, if it's just off to the side. Um, but if I'm watching something, that's definitely not going to be my main display. For work, though, I imagine it's fine for what my use case is. And most likely, I would never put a YouTube video there because <laughs> I'm in Vision Pro. I would just make it, you know, another window like this and use the Juno app or whatever. All right, so here's my Vision Pro video from the other day, actually. So I'm going to turn on dual display. Someone to my left. This works great. If I want to drag this to my timeline, no lag whatsoever. I'm, I'm right across from you. Very usable. If I want to bring in, say, a title, I'm bringing something like this. Yeah, just, much better than last time. So going back to the tweet from a couple hours ago here, we can see that he actually addressed one of the top comments as well, where people were saying, are these going to be the same resolutions or are they going to be lowered as you add more uh, displays? And he's saying in theory, there shouldn't be any limit to the displays. But of course, as expected, the more displays you add, the more performance issues you will also introduce. So I'm guessing they're just checking the stability, but four is really the maximum that I personally would ever use. Uh, to be quite honest, really all I need is three. Any other DaVinci Resolve users, pretty much you're maxing at that because all I really need is a clean feed if I could have that. However, uh, my only potential issue with that would be the clean feed. I would probably have to make the official Mac display since that playback is the smoothest. Um, and then I'd have my timeline 
and my projects, uh, media bins and effects and stuff on the other display. But I know there's a lot of other productivity people out there where you're not necessarily needing, you know, 24 or 60 FPS playback for video production stuff. Uh, like what he's doing here is clearly social media. He's got work with coding. All those things don't need as high of, you know, constant refresh rates and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to see this update. All it says is coming soon. Um, knowing these guys, that probably means it's pretty soon, especially if they're teasing it. So hopefully uh, we see this soon and, and definitely expect a video on here once this update comes out because you know I will be testing it to see if it's truly stable and worth the recommendation. So good job split screen developers on the update for the public release. This feels way better than last time and I'm very excited to check out even more displays. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out this video right here uh, where I dive into the best social app for Vision Pro currently.